overwhelming show of respect for a fallen officer. He died protecting you and me. An endless stream of first responders crowding every overpass from Vancouver to Abbotsford, paying their respects along the highway of heroes. He was protecting this community. He will always be my hero. Constable John Davidson died in the line of duty on November 6th, attending a call for a stolen vehicle. Davidson was 53. Originally from Scotland, he had adopted Abbotsford as his home. He had been in policing for 24 years, getting his start with the Northumbria Police in 1993. It was his passion for the outdoors that brought him to the Fraser Valley a dozen years ago. He would have done anything, anything for you. Okay, ready? Davidson was particularly drawn to the youth of Abbotsford. I got Thank you, Sue. He spent okay. many hours making a difference in the community and took on the challenge of helping teenagers during his time as a school liaison officer at W.J. Moat Secondary School. Every morning he'd stand at the front and greet all the students as they walked into the school. Um, and he had unique relationships with all of them. Um, he'd talk to the popular people, like the football team, but he'd also talk to like kind of like the dorks. He talked to everyone. He was such an incredible person. He was always supportive and he was always funny and he was always there. If you needed someone to talk to. His courage, dedication and professionalism was recognized with awards. Twice for getting the most impaired drivers off the road and for anti-drug campaigns. He raised thousands of dollars riding in the Cops for Cancer fundraiser. And perhaps most telling is that even those who he pulled over only had good things to say about the experience. I said, listen, uh, I just wanted to let you know uh, that you did a really good job and I was, it was an honor and a privilege to be arrested by you. <laughs> I only dealt with him for 20 minutes, but just I will never forget the guy. A community in shock has come together to comfort Davidson's wife, three grown children and a devastated police force. I just wish we could wrap our arms around the family and the friends. We have lost John and nothing can change that. John died doing what we asked him to do.